Fragments of a biblical scroll, along with other relics, have been found in desert caves in Israel. Whether you like it or not, the earth is covered in an intricate system of caves that go much deeper than you could possibly imagine. Above every man-made place, nature has created an equivalent one below. And unlike up here, most don't have comfortable furniture or televisions. Cave systems come in a wide variety of eerie forms, from 19th century mines to billion-year-old lonely caverns. They have accumulated a very twisted collection of things, including people and animals, that have been ignored and concealed for centuries and are now rotting in the suffocating darkness and stillness. Let's check out some of the most disturbing discoveries uncovered in caverns, particularly one that had been locked off for millions of years. Movil Cave, toxic hell on earth. What do you suppose you would discover inside a completely shut off cave after five million years of complete seclusion from the outside world? Dinosaurs, old timey bugs, alien life evidence, please. Nobody knew until Dr. Christian Lascu in Romania successfully broke out the Movil Cave. For 5.5 million years, Movil Cave in Romania has been cut off from the outside world. The cave was blocked by a falling chunk of limestone at the same time that our prehistoric ancestors were just beginning to consider turning into humans. The globe had entirely independently evolved when scientists opened the top in the 21st century. The inhabitants that live in the Movil Cave are truly unique. This cave in Romania, located a short distance west of the Black Sea, has been hermetically sealed for millions of years, creating otherworldly conditions inside. Despite the toxic and oppressive conditions, researchers have found this environment to be a veritable treasure trove. Less than 100 people have ever entered the cave. Humans only became aware of it in 1986, when the Socialist Republic of Romania employees were hunting for additional land to construct a nuclear power plant. The central caverns are naturally guarded by a series of vertical shafts and tiny limestone tunnels, but now it is closed off by the authorities and only accessible with a special permit. When you reach the cave's depths, the air has half the normal amount of oxygen and is high in carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. In addition, it is completely dark and has been without sunlight for at least 5.5 million years. Only a lengthy shaft and a network of limestone tunnels lead to the cave. It is a comfortable 77 degrees Fahrenheit, but due to a pool of sulfuric water at the bottom that spews hydrogen sulfide whenever anything breaks the surface, it smells like rotten eggs. That indicates that it is extremely lethal and that staying there for more than a few hours would result in severe organ failure. The cave was sealed off from the outside world for so long that fresh air was completely absent, making the air inside noxious and oppressively humid. But these circumstances not only made it possible for extraordinary life to form, but also for it to flourish. Some animals are simply so flexible and dissimilar from humans that they can live in places where we'd never think to settle down there is an equally bizarre life that has developed. One of the fundamental components is a form of chemosynthetic bacteria, which requires carbon to exist in the same manner that life on the surface requires oxygen. Yes, scientists are trying to understand more about these life forms in order to come up with solutions to the problem of various greenhouse gases. Most cave dwellers can't see and are completely colorblind. After all, in total darkness, neither sight nor beauty is necessary. Overall, they're a skinny bunch with long legs and antennas for finding their way in the dark. The fact that this planet is home to chemosynthetic microbes just adds to its otherworldliness. Photosynthesis is the primary energy capture mechanism in most ecosystems. Since there is no sunlight in the cave, the bacteria must rely on other chemical reactions, such as the oxidation of sulfide or ammonium, to provide them with energy and carbon. The specialists have not yet determined how the animals entered the cave or how they got trapped within. The prehistoric time capsule is home to 48 different species, including spiders, scorpions, centipedes, and a wide variety of other creatures. Surprisingly, 33 of the organisms discovered are unique to this particular cave and exist nowhere else on Earth. They have been around for longer than contemporary humans have, but because they lived in isolation inside a locked cave, no one has ever found them. Nearly all of the creatures that inhabit Mobile Cave are completely blind and devoid of all pigments that give color. 
The organisms evolved incredibly long antennae, limbs, and other physical characteristics in order to navigate the cave without the use of vision. The majority of these creatures are unlike anything we've ever seen. In a place where the biosphere never receives any sunshine, evolution sure does seem strange. The area is also home to a distinctive ecosystem that makes use of the dangerous gases in the cave. Even while we can't breathe these gases to survive in such an ecosystem, some kinds of species can really flourish on them. The many kinds of bacteria must engage in a process known as chemosynthesis in order to consume food. This technique employs harmful gas in place of sunlight and transforms it into food for the bacteria, which is similar to the photosynthesis process that plants use on the surface. Chemosynthesis enables organisms to produce food by using chemical processes to produce energy. Naturally, these smaller species become food for larger organisms once they have produced their own food from the air, while scorpions, spiders, and other invertebrates consume the smaller animals, worms, shrimp, and other small creatures devour the bacteria. As a result, everything inside the cave can continue to live and thrive in a perfect circle of life that is entirely self-sufficient. Mobile Cave is the sole environment of its sort on dry land. However, comparable environments exist in the ocean's depths where species coexist with hydrothermal vents that support a lot of the same kinds of life. Movial Cave, which has been accessible to researchers for many years, has the potential to reveal a wealth of fresh data about the course of evolution, but there is still much to learn from this region of the world. Despite some plausible possibilities, experts are still baffled as to how the animals ended up in the cave in the first place. Many scientists think that the bacteria in the cave had been there for far longer than 5 million years, but that other animals may have crawled or fallen into a hole there just before Mother Nature shut it up. They had to learn to survive on what was available after they were imprisoned within, and over time, they adapted to flourish on their scarce resources. It's very likely that the bacteria have been there for a lot longer than 5 million years, but that the insects became trapped there around that time. J. Microbiologist Colin Morell from the University of East Anglia remarked, the limestone cast may have simply dropped, trapping them inside and sealing the cave until it was rediscovered in 1986. More than 50 distinct species have been found, and the majority of them are creepy. The king of the cave, a venomous centipede that is just about two inches long but is so lethal that serves as the cave's apex predator, is in addition to cave leeches, snails, scorpions, and spiders. The Mobile Cave still conceals a great deal of mystery. Even though scientists have known it exists for a long time, there are still a ton of undiscovered residents, some of whom may offer profound insights about the evolution of biology and even the essence of life itself. Israeli Cave, the discovery of the lost planet. In a lake inside a cave, where they had been entirely shielded from the outside world for millions of years, Israeli scientists found an ancient ecosystem with eight previously unidentified species. The crustaceans and invertebrates were discovered in a cave close to the Israeli city of Ramle. This is a really special ecology that is cut off from the outside world. The cave has passages that span around 1.5 miles and it is 328 feet below the earth in a limestone quarry. A sizable underground lake is home to hitherto undiscovered creatures, some of which resemble scorpions and shrimp. The discovery emphasizes how little we understand about life on our planet and how crucial it is to continue looking. Both the scorpion-like and shrimp-like animals that were discovered are unusual. A thick covering of chalk, impervious to water or outside nutrients, had totally shielded the creatures from the outer world. Except for one creature that resembled a scorpion, all other species were discovered to be living. None of them measured longer than two inches. Although similar caverns have been found in Mexico and Romania, none have been as remote. The newly discovered species rely entirely on an independent, self-sustaining ecosystem, in contrast to other animals, which are dependent on the photosynthetic food chain. South Africa's rising star cave system. Before the earliest signs of burial by modern humans, researchers have found evidence that members of a mysterious ancient human species buried their dead and engraved symbols on cave walls. The discoveries may alter how we think about human evolution because up until now, these behaviors were only thought to be exhibited by more intelligent Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. In 2013, during excavations in South Africa's rising star cave system, Homo naledi fossils were first found. 
The cave system is a component of South Africa's Cradle of Humankind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that includes a region where researchers have discovered fossils of numerous early human progenitor species, remains that are assisting in unraveling the history of human evolution. Dr. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist and National Geographic explorer in residence, and his group of underground astronauts have kept exploring the vast, perilous cave systems to learn more about the extinct hominins, or early human predecessors. Now, the study team has found adult and juvenile Homo naledi skeletons that were preserved in the fetal position within soil-covered cave depressions. The burials predate all known burials of Homo sapiens by at least 100,000 years. The markings found on the cave walls during the process of identifying the cave tombs are thought to be between 241,000 and 335,000 years old, but further testing is needed to determine their exact age. Deeply carved geometric designs and hashtag-like crosshatchings are among the symbols. Early Homo sapiens 80,000 years ago and Neanderthals 60,000 years ago are thought to have carved symbols similar to those found in other caves, and it is thought that these symbols were used to record and communicate information. These most recent discoveries imply that Homo naledi engaged in intentional interments, the use of symbols, and meaning-making activities. Combining these leads to the seemingly unavoidable conclusion that these primitive human ancestors were engaging in sophisticated rituals relating to death. That would imply that not only are symbolic actions not exclusively developed by humans, but that these behaviors themselves may not even be novel. In addition to walking upright and using their hands to manipulate objects, Homo naledi individuals differed from humans in that they had smaller heads, shorter statures, and were more strongly built. Many Homo naledi fossils, including those of aged adults and very young newborns, have been discovered by researchers throughout the caverns to aid in their understanding of the Naledi population. Further exploration of the caves revealed that Homo Naledi was well familiar with and made extensive use of the cave system. The possibility that the species purposefully disposed of their dead in the cave was raised when Berger and his team revealed the discovery of Homo Naledi in 2015. But the notion that a small-brained hominid could do so was seen as a very contentious theory in 2018, the researchers started to uncover data that supported the hypothesis that Homo naledi deliberately interred its deceased, the remains of bodies that had been deposited into oval-shaped holes that had been excavated into the cave surface and coiled up, were discovered by the experts. The dead were buried in other graves that had been carved into hillsides horizontally, demonstrating that the remains had not been accidentally transported there. It is not a body that perishes in a pit or depression. The fact that the body was completely covered in the earth before decomposing inside the grave itself helped to show that it was actually buried at the time as a whole human entity, rather than through some dramatic collapse or being washed in. We refer to them as graves or burials by the non-human species, Homo naledi, because we believe they pass the litmus test of human burials, archaic human burials, and the oldest human burials. The team subsequently uncovered carvings on the wall and an artifact within a grave. A tool-shaped rock is buried next to an adult Homo naledi's hand in one of the tombs. A wall with rock engravings can be found in the antechamber of a passageway above the tombs. The dolomite rock walls with intricate geometric carvings have a Mohs hardness rating of 4.5 to 4.7, which is used by scientists to measure how resistant rocks are to scratching. Dolomite is twice as hard as diamond, the hardest material on Earth. Thus, it would have taken a tremendous amount of time and effort to cut into the walls. There is no proof that humans have ever been inside the caves, which leads the experts to assume that Homo naledi and not Homo sapiens are the ones who made the engravings. By employing fire, Homo naledi was able to see what they were doing inside the caves. Soot, charcoal, and burned bones are among the signs that can be found all around the caverns, suggesting they were deliberately starting fires. The symbols and the burials suggest that Homo naledi was able to engage in significant behaviors. Researchers are unsure of the symbols' meanings or whether the symbols served as a kind of communication among the species. We can infer that these are purposefully created geometric patterns that have significance for Naledi.
In order to engrave these things in the locations where they are burying the dead, they must have put a lot of time, effort, and even their lives in danger. The Nalidi discoveries show that there may be other factors involved in the complicated behavior that scientists previously believed to be exclusive to humans. The difficulty here is that not only did we learn that Homo Nalidi, along with Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, Denisovans, and a few others, were engaged in the kind of behavior we, even just a few decades ago, thought was unique to us, but that many other species did as well. This necessitates a re-evaluation of when hominins first began using fire, when they began creating meaning, and when they began burying their dead. The research team is continuing their efforts to learn more about Homo nalidi, including its age, if it lived closer to humans than previously believed, and whether any DNA has been retained in the bones discovered in the cave network. Compact Coffins a group of youngsters were exploring Arthur's seat in Scotland on a June afternoon in 1836 when they just so happened to come to find what would later become one of the country's strangest mysteries. National Museum Scotland claims that while on their explorations, the lads happened onto a small cave. They discovered 17 miniature coffins inside the cave, each with a figure carefully dressed in tiny handmade clothing and snuggled inside. A few pieces of slate had been used to block the cave's entrance. Newspapers at the time reported on the discovery and immediately began yelling about witchcraft, demonology, and black magic, which was only natural. Others offered less bizarre theories, such as the notion that the dolls were effigies of friends who had perished in other regions or had gone missing at sea, and their proper ceremonies had been performed on the dolls in their stead. That's really nice, but the prevailing theory isn't quite as endearing. The 17 coffins are now believed to have been created and interred as a memorial to the 17 victims of infamous body snatchers William Burke and William Hare. They got their start when a boarder who shared the residence with Hare had the unfortunate circumstance of passing away while owing him money. They collected by selling him to a nearby anatomy school. Who made them and why? Was it actually intended as a memorial to Burke and Hare's victims? We probably won't ever find out. Liang Boakov, Hobbits. Sets of human remains that defied explanation were discovered in the Liang Bua Cave in Flores, Indonesia, in 2003 by a group of archaeologists. Even though the adults in the bones were unmistakably near ancestors of ourselves, Homo sapiens, they were only about three and a half feet tall. The bones certainly belonged to adults. Naturally, they quickly acquired the moniker Hobbits. The vanished people were smaller than any other previously discovered species, even a full foot smaller than the tiniest of the African pygmies, which startled the scientific community. Naturally, many anthropologists believed the skeletons were just short due to an illness. The hobbits, scientifically known as Homo floresiensis, were, in contrast, generally typical, healthy, upright, and intellectual humans, according to recent investigations. They just so happened to be hobbit-sized. What if they're true hobbits after all? Would you be interested in exploring these fascinating caves to observe the rare life types that occupy them? How do you suppose they got there? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.